What's up, guys? Can you hear me? We're getting there. Hi, everyone. Good evening. How's everyone doing tonight? Yay. It's so dark in here. I feel like we're in like a theater. This is awesome. Okay. If you guys, if it gets too, if it's too dark, we'll turn the lights on. Don't worry. We'll all engage. All right. Well, I'm David. Thank you for coming to Greenhouse. Thank you for coming and praying. You could be anywhere tonight. You could be doing anything. You could be binging Netflix after work, after eating some food. But thank you for coming tonight and partnering with Jesus and adoring Jesus and praying with Jesus. And so that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going we're gonna to focus on him because he's amazing and we love him. So, of course, a good one to open up with is Psalms 104, uh, 100 for, verse 4. We are told to enter his courts with thanksgiving and his gates with praise. So Jesus, we love you. Can we get everyone, let's just stand and kind of engage and then we'll, we'll roll into worship. Sound good? Amazing. Well, Jesus, we love you. We thank you that we get to enter in. We thank you that you paid the ultimate price so we can enter in and that we don't have to do crazy sacrifices for our sin to be to be with you, God, but that you paid away by your body the perfect sacrifice. So Jesus, we love you. We adore you. We worship you tonight. We enter in and we engage our spirits with thanksgiving. Can everyone just start praying and start thanking God? Use the words, thank you, Jesus, for my life. Thank you for my job. Thank you for my environment. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for where you've placed me on the earth. Thank you for such a time as this. Thank you that we get to engage with you with others that love you. Thank you that we are not persecuted. Thank you that we get to press in boldly that we get to practice engaging with you in faith and that we don't get thrown in jail for it. Lord, thank you there's permission for us to enter in. Thank you that we have full permission to fully enter in and that there is nothing hindering us but our own self. And so Lord, dethrone ourself tonight. Get rid of that thing, get it off the throne. And Lord, we put you back on the throne tonight in Jesus' name. We glorify you and magnify you. And so Jesus, have your way tonight. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would come into this room and that you would begin to stir our spirits, that you would begin to show us how to worship, show us how to pray. Lead us into the throne room tonight. We need you to help us, Lord. And so right now, maybe everyone just in an act of faith, let's open up our hands. And let's just receive Holy Spirit. We welcome you here. We welcome you into our temples in Jesus' name. We welcome you into this space in Jesus' name. Come and have your way. If you can, begin to pray in the Spirit. Begin to pray in your own prayer language. Let's just engage and enter in. Lord, we love you. We love you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit, fill us up. Fill us up. Let's go, let's go. Just lift up your voices. Oh, yeah, na, 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 yeah. We love you, here to 
take it away Everything we did last night or the day before Take it away, your blood covered it We focus our eyes on you We focus our hearts on you
can't get enough on you, your presence. I can't get enough of you, your face, Lord. I can't get enough of you, that cross, Lord. I can't get enough of you, that blood you shed. I can't get enough of you, your presence. And I can't get enough of you, that face, Lord. And I can't get enough of you, that cross, Lord. And I can't get enough of you, that blood you shed. I can't get enough of you, your presence. I can't get enough of you, that face, Lord. And I can't get enough of you.
last time. Oh, he shall, and he shall reign, and he shall reign, he shall reign.
like you have a revelation of the cross and you don't feel like you see other people talking about the cross or the Lamb of God and you say, I want to feel what they're feeling. God, I want to understand what you did for me. I want to know what you did on that cross for me. I want to know. 
I want, if you're that person, I want you to raise your hands. And I want you to say, Jesus. Honestly, everybody should raise their hands. I think we all need revelation. Everyone raise their hands. Jesus. Say, Jesus. We're asking you. Show us your face. Show us who you are. We want to know you. We're longing for you. We're longing for you. We're longing for you. We want to see you on that cross. We want to see the blood that was shed for our sins. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus on the cross cried out again with a loud voice and he yielded up his spirit and behold the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom hallelujah Jesus and the earth shook and the rocks were split and the tombs were open and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised and coming out of the tomb after his resurrection, they went into the city and appeared to many. The men in the centurion who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake, they saw what was happening, they saw what took place, and they were filled with awe and said, truly this was the Son of God. Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you for exposing your flesh to humanity and dying a gruesome death so that veil in the temple would be torn and we would have access to you. We would have full access to you. No one else deserves the glory. There is no one else that deserves the glory. Can we give a shout in our spirits we need an actual shout to the Lord. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. Thank you for paying the price. We honor you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Ever. Oh, okay, I definitely want us to go back into worship. Are you guys cool if we partner up and pray? There's some amazing things God's doing this week, and I want us to pray and partner with Jesus for it. Y'all good with me? All right, let's go for it. So there's two things we're going to pray. We're going to go in and out of worship, <clears throat> but it's going to be our Carry the Love festivals that have been happening and are about to be happening. There's even one tonight. 
and then our sin rallies for the sin. Both of them are exploding and God is moving like crazy and we wanna fuel that fire with prayer. Sound good? Okay, first thing we're gonna pray for is, well, let me, let me share a testimony. This week we had Tulsa and Newark, New Jersey festivals and we had that over a thousand in Tulsa show up. Newark had hundreds show up and out of those two cities, there was over 400 salvations combined. Give a shout of praise to Jesus. There was in Tulsa some major healings break out. We're waiting for confirmation from doctors for some of them. But there was also salvations breaking out. Entire families were getting saved. How incredible. Entire families getting saved. So that was the last few days, and, and we have been a team at LSU in Louisiana. Any shout out for LSU? Yeah. So LSU has been having crazy campus outreach for the last week, and they have, uh, Brad said they've been seeing salvations every single day. Students have been getting saved on campus. Tonight, literally right now, is the rally happening. So I wanted us to pray in real time that God would mark hearts right now. They're probably in the midst of their altar call right now. So can we pray that Louisiana State would see salvation and healings and miracles. So just part, just start going out loud right now and let's just pray, God, pray that you would reach and mark hearts tonight, that you would grip hearts tonight. Holy Spirit, we ask for a move of salvation at LSU, that this rally, this evangelistic crusade, that souls would come into the kingdom in Jesus' name. We ask you to open hearts right now, that you would grip souls right now. We ask for a breakout of healing and power, that there would be a breakout of power and people would say, what must I do to be saved? We ask for that right now in Jesus' name. Okay, the big one I want us to now pray for is London in Europe at the UK. We are doing two night festivals starting tomorrow night. Our whole team's prepped the ground. There is over 700 UK people signed up and registered already. That's unheard of in, in Europe. So we're just praying that God is gonna break out like crazy in this festival that starts tomorrow night. So can we, um, can we pray real quick, hold on. Yeah, can we pray that God would continue to gather the lost and people would get saved? Can we pray for this rally? So let's pray right now that that, that number would hit a 1,000, that a 1,000 would come out tomorrow night and hear the gospel and get wrecked. So start praying in Jesus' name, Lord. We just pray for salvation in Europe. We pray for salvation in London, that you would mark hearts, that you would mark the younger generation. We ask that you would grip their hearts for the gospel. Let them see you, Jesus. Let them see you, Lord. Holy Spirit, start to move on their hearts. Begin to prep their heart even tonight. Begin to prep their heart in preparation for these events. We ask that the gospel would be clearly presented to them in Jesus' name. Okay, on top of the registrations for the festivals the next two nights, there is over 300 people signed up to be a part of the week following these festivals leading up to the King of England's coronation. So I think, what is it, May 6th is when the King is being coronated. Nations from all over the earth are going to celebrate and we are doing the wildest activation of evangelism and outreach during that time. And over 300 hungry people in the UK have signed up to do daily evangelism on the streets. Let's pray that God would have a breakthrough of evangelism in Europe. We pray that, yeah, let's just start going after it. We pray for salvation in Europe, God. We pray that you would save souls from many, many nations, that every tribe and tongue would hear the gospel next week. Lord, we pray for divine appointments on the streets in Jesus' name. We pray that you would gather the lost and they would hear the gospel. Let's pray for a wave of salvation and boldness to preach the gospel. Pray for boldness from these evangelists. Lord, Spirit of God, fill them with boldness and courage to press in and preach the gospel in Jesus' name. It's amazing. 
Okay, y'all, y'all go for two more, and then we'll go into worship, okay? Let's erupt here. Okay, so we're going to pray that the presence of Jesus, that he would overtake the field for this festival. So we're going back to the festival tomorrow night and Saturday night. Hundreds are going to gather, and let's pray that Jesus' presence would overtake that field and that a revelation of Jesus would begin to sweep across the UK. So pray for Jesus to go to that field and to marinate that field with his presence. Love a good marination. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we pray that your presence would mark that field in Jesus' name. We pray that it would overtake it. We pray that a revelation of Jesus would touch every heart that comes into that festival in Jesus' name. All right, final one is I want us to pray that seeds would be planted in hearts and that real revivalists, the spirit of revival would grip people and there would be new John Wesley's arriving from Europe, arising, that there would be new Charles Finney's arising, that there would be even new Billy Graham's and Bonkies that were coming out of the UK. So let's pray that God would grip someone and they would say yes to being sent out as their as an ambassador of christ okay so pray for specific souls to be marked and catalyzed for a lifetime of god's work let's go for it in jesus name we pray that you would mark people that you would grip them for a lifetime service to you jesus pray that you would grip them in jesus name guys I just thought this was a fun bonus for all of us Philippians 3 verse 7 Paul's going after it but whatever gain I had I counted as loss for you Jesus so whatever gain we've had Jesus we count it as loss for the sake of Christ indeed I count everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Jesus my Lord For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Jesus, the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and that may share in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible, I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on. I press on to make it my own because Jesus Christ has made me his own. That's our prayer. Jesus, that we would press on because you pressed in. You pressed on and made us your own. So we press on. Let's just go in after worship again. Let's adore Jesus and press in that we would count Jesus the prize, the possession that we're going after and that we would count everything as lost for the sake of knowing Christ.
love you, Jesus. Let's just adore Jesus. Another round, another wave of adoration to Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. The later it gets, the more I want to worship. I want to worship you, Jesus. I want to give you my fatigue. I want to give you my thoughts. I want to give you my tiredness. I want to give you my heart, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Okay, we want to also pray for our sin tour that's happening. <clears throat> Amazing testimonies coming in from last night in New York City. At a nightclub in New York City, there was over a thousand New Yorkers that showed up for the event. They said there was just hundreds of fruit. So much wildness breaking out. They said deliverance, salvation, miracles. Thank you, Jesus, for this fruit, Lord. We thank you for New York, God. We ask that you would mark these New Yorkers, that they would be gripped with the gospel. So fun what's happening. Yeah, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna pray Matthew 9, that, and I'm gonna read this verse, and we're just gonna pray for souls and for uh, people to be gripped, to be sent. Matthew 9:35. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of heaven and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he looked and said to his disciples, look, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send workers into the harvest field. Lord, we look with eyes of faith at New York City and at the east coast of America, and we say the harvest is plentiful. The harvest is plentiful. The laborers may be few, but this harvest is plentiful. So, Lord, let's just pray that the Lord would send forth more laborers, that people would get gripped. Thinking of the Salvation Army, I'm forgetting the guy's name. Remind me, who's the guy named that started the Salvation Army? William Booth, so gripped by the gangs of New York, got gripped. So Lord, we just pray that you would save souls, that you would mark souls, and that you would send them out as your workers and laborers. In Jesus' name, can we all begin to pray? Just pray that even you would get gripped. Pray that your family and your friends would get gripped. Pray that your church would get gripped. Pray, pray that missions would change and it wouldn't look like what it looked like 20 years ago, but that the labor field would be ripe and that God would move in power in these fields in Jesus' name. Lord, grip us again, God. Awaken America. Awaken the East Coast in Jesus' name. Lord man okay the next step is that there are three send gatherings happening this week in Pennsylvania shout out Pennsylvania <laughs> all right we have three topics to pray you guys down to pray let's partner in and then let's let's jump back in okay pray for Pennsylvania to awaken to its full missional call Let's begin to pray. How about for this? Can we stand up and get in groups of two or three? Just grab some people around you and let's pray these few out. I really do believe God's about to mark Pennsylvania this week. And I know we have a big sin gathering this fall, but I believe God is tilling the ground this week. And there's gonna be souls being gripped like crazy. So in your group, pray, you can pray it out loud, but pray for Pennsylvania to awaken to its missional call, the fullness of its missional call. Pray that for Pennsylvanians. Go for it.
Okay, next point. We are gonna pray that God would mark people with specific assignments in missions work. Pray that God would grip people with certain assignments and callings. Go for it. in Pennsylvania. Grip people for the homeless and the impoverished. Grip people for the prisoners of Pennsylvania. We you would grip and mark people in Jesus' name. Ten more seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Ten more seconds. Do it, Lord. Grip hearts. Give them revelatory ideas. Give them new ideas for this new generation. Even technology ideas. Just grip people with new ways to love and to pour out the kingdom of God. All right, last one, guys. All right, in Pennsylvania, Lancaster County is one of the biggest missions funding communities. We're going to pray that God would stir hearts to fund the mission sending movement from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is one of the biggest mission sending communities and they're also one of the biggest missions funding communities. And to do God's work as a missionary, you need funding and we need provision to advance the gospel. So let's pray that God would stir businessmen and business women and that God would stir people to be radical generosity givers towards the advancement of the gospel. Go for it. into one more chorus as we're crying out for revival. And take courage, the harvest is arrived. Lift up your voice, cause Jesus is alive. Take courage, the harvest is arrived. Lift up your voice, Cause Jesus is alive And take courage The harvest is arrived Lift up your voice Cause Jesus is alive And take courage 
The harvest is right. Lift up your voice, cause Jesus is alive. And take courage. The harvest is right. Lift up your voice, cause Jesus is alive. Take courage. The harvest is right. Lift up your voice, cause Jesus, he's alive. And take courage, the harvest is ripe. And lift up your voice, cause Jesus, he's alive. And take courage, the harvest is ripe.
changes history There's a yes in our hearts And it carries through eternity Simple obedience changes history There's a yes in our hearts And it carries through eternity Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every affliction. He's on the move all over the U.S. He's on the move all over Europe. He's on the move on these nations. Jesus, we pray for a healing outbreak in Jesus' name. We're going to go after healing. I felt specifically that there was people even in the room. It, it could be a minor ailment in your body, but if you feel like there's something you would love prayer for, I ask you would just boldly raise your hand and we're gonna just circle you and pray up. All right, can I get guys that are ready and ready to roll to sit or surround these people? Let's get them prayed up. It can be simple prayers of healing because Jesus is moving and Jesus is healing. It can be as simple as just asking them what it is that you need prayer for, and then praying in Jesus' name, be healed. Yes, Lord, we pray for healing, even in this room, that it would break out right now in Jesus' name. Touch hearts right now in Jesus' name. ask them to test it. In the Gospels, Jesus, he prayed for someone and they weren't healed all the way. And he asked, can I pray a second time? If Jesus prayed twice, then let's pray twice. If there's not full breakthrough, pray again. Test it out. If you can, test it out. Test it out. Let's give it, let's give it a few more seconds here. People are still getting prayed for. If you felt a significant change in your body, seems like people are still getting prayed for. We'll wait just a second. Thank you, Lord. Okay, guys, if, you, if anyone felt a significant change in their body, would you be as bold to raise your hand and wave it at me? People are still getting prayed for. Okay, if you felt a shift at all in your body. Amen. Amazing. Come on. Come on. Okay, I know we just prayed for physical healing. Let's keep believing for it. But now I want us to shift to one more round. If you have emotional or mental trauma that you're like, man, God, I need help in this area. 
my mind is fried, I don't want, know what's going on, my fatigue, any of this stuff, mental or emotional, that you need healing from, would you raise your hand right now and we're gonna circle you instead. Let's go for it. All right, guys, circle these people with their hands raised. Amazing. <laughs> no one's around you. Let's raise your hands. If anyone can, let's pray for these hands raised. I love it. Good job, guys. Let's go after it, guys. Come on. In Jesus' name, we just pray against all mental fatigue, mental trauma. Any psychological pain, Jesus, heal it right now in Jesus' name. Heal mental illness right now in Jesus' name. All insomnia be healed in Jesus' name. Pray in a few more seconds. Thank you, Jesus. All right, just for testimony's sake, if you feel any different feel a weight lifted off you, if you feel your head is lighter, if you feel any difference in your body, would you raise your hand for us to all celebrate? Amazing people are still getting prayed for. I feel the Lord so strongly on this. Thank you, Lord. All right, 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds, and then let's, let's switch it up. Okay, guys. How's everyone doing? If you felt any shift in your body from these last few prayer points, physically, mentally, emotionally, if you felt a shift in your body, would you raise your hand? No, we got here, oh, we got here, amazing. Oh, over here, let's celebrate what the Lord is doing even in this room. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, this is just a foretaste, guys. I really believe this, our team believes this, that God wants to break out in healing in Orange County and in our region. So final prayer point, and then we're going into worship all the way home, okay? Final prayer point. Let's pray out loud. You guys can all just look this way. And we are gonna pray that God would pour out, that he would tip those bowls of healing in heaven, and that he would pour out a healing movement all across Orange County and Southern California. So right now, can we all just lift our hands in faith? Whether you've seen healing with your own personal life or you've seen it in the room, let's pray right now in faith that God's gonna begin to pour out healing in our life and that he's gonna pour out healing in this region in Jesus' name. Begin to pray. Pray. You said, Lord, you said we would do what you've done and even greater. So we pray for healing to break out. We pray for bodies to be healed in Jesus' name. We pray for minds to be healed in Jesus' name. We pray that you would begin to stir miraculous signs and wonders in Jesus' name. We pray for Orange County. We pray for this region, God. Like in the past, that you would pour it out. Pour out signs, wonders, and miracles. We believe it, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's go, let's go. Let's sing this out, guys. In faith, let's sing it out. I believe it. Come on, let's sing it out. I believe it. I believe it. You're the
We are healed. We praise your name for everything you did tonight. Just lift up your voice. Just thank him, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for every way you touched us tonight, for every way you came, Jesus. Lord, we're thankful.
going we're gonna keep going and worthy is the lamb. we started adoring you Jesus and, is the lamb. and we will end adoring you Jesus because it's all about you Jesus You're holy. that's all we're about Jesus all we're are about you, Lord God, you are holy almighty. worthy Jesus worthy worthy is the lamb I challenge everyone let's press worthy in worthy is the lamb Let's go one more push. Adoring and adoring and adoring Jesus. Holy are you, Lord God Almighty. Sing it. Worthy is the Lamb. And worthy is the Lamb.
wearing crowns on his head, but he has holes in his hand for me. He has holes in his hand for me. He's so worthy of all of my adoration. He's so holy. He's a king, but he has holes in his hand for me. If that doesn't make him so worthy, I don't even know what does. He's so holy. He's so beautiful. And he's seated on a throne. Jesus, you're holy, God. You're worthy of everything, Jesus. for coming your presence is so sweet your name is like honey on our lips your spirit's like water to our soul and your word is a lamp unto our feet
having an encounter, you're in a place where you don't know if you can even move, just allow the Lord to keep speaking to you. We'll let the band play a little longer and go to a soft close. Monday nights. We got Greenhouse next week. Come press in next Thursday night with us. Thank you, Jesus, for tonight. We honor you and your presence. And we adore you. And we give you our week this week. We ask that you would just grip our hearts grip us to pray, teach us how to pray, Holy Spirit. Sanctify us and lead us this week, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, well, amen, guys. If you need a minute, keep going. We're gonna, we'll play for a little bit longer, but feel free to leave if you need. Love you guys.